Tesla? I have a Tesla. I have a Tesla. Do you ever do the self-driving thing? Never. It's awesome. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't. I'm not, it scares me, but I'm not, I, I'm not I ready that for little it. Little button, doo doo. Yeah, I'm not ready for it. And that's equipped. I, I even paid a couple of dollars, you know, me the too. extra dollars to get yeah, that. No, I'm, not, I that I'm not ready for it yet. But don't be scared. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, do you use it? Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for that. Most of the time, I don't, though, honestly. But I'm ready culturally for it. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so it'll save thirty thousand lives a year. All right. So this is, and no one's going to drive home drunk. And a self-driving car, when it changes lanes, it tells the other self-driving cars, I'm going to change lane. It parts wow. the traffic for it, and it op- then opens into a lane. Mm. Okay? This is the kind – and it can go 90 miles an hour separated by five feet in front and back of the car. Let's not do that. that no, be- seems... because you're thinking of your own reflexes and not that. I'm of... thinking of things going wrong. Every now and then you see one like that hits like a tire iron that's in the middle of the road. That could happen. However, uh, another car would have seen it. I'm in my Tesla. I come up to a road. The Tesla tells me on the screen, changing uh, suspension because of a bumpy road ahead. I say, how does it know it's a bumpy road ahead? It gets the, there's a clearinghouse of this information. Some other Tesla went on that road and figured that out.